Parents and teachers in Brevard County will have to wait until next week to find out whether or not the first day of school will be pushed back. It's more waiting for answers the teachers union says it doesn't want. And along with concerns about returning to class, teachers and the district are also now negotiating their new contract. News 6's James Barvero is following the latest. Some protections that we need to put in place for, for our teachers. Additional safety and leave protections before returning to school next month. The Brevard Federation of Teachers says those are its top priorities negotiating its new contract with Brevard Public Schools. Teachers just like firefighters, police officers, nurses, they know they're going in harm's way. In the last week, school board members have talked about reopening twice, each meeting lasting nearly 12 hours. And then the district and the teachers union came together yesterday for their first bargaining session. The union says the whole conversation at this point is frustrating. We need to give them the protection to do the job safely. Um, and we're just not seeing that at the level that I think our teachers deserve. Like guaranteeing teachers and students won't be too close to each other. The district says wearing masks will be expected when there's not enough space. As much as I'm presenting a plan today, there is also still much work to be done. The debate continues Tuesday. Superintendent Dr. Mark Mullins is now proposing for school to start on August 17th instead of the 11th. The farther we can push it out, the more preparation we can put in place. And about their new contract, no agreements were reached on their first day of talking, but the superintendent says the district will agree to do what's in the best interests of teachers. In Vieira, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.